All right, we did back ochos last time, and today we did a sidestep, a sneaky weight change, and we had the lead go directly forward. Part of what we were working on is leaders walking with dissociation or contra body, right? And followers being able to feel that direction with the ocho. So we go one, sneaky weight change, walking, and then we get out of it with a sneaky weight change. Okay, then we looked at, we went in airplane mode, and we looked at how we're getting into Ojo's with this rotation right there, and I could change the rotation and instead get the follow to step forward in front Ojo's. And then again, I do a sneaky weight change there to get out of it. And we specifically worked on making sure that the follows weren't anticipating the Ojo's, they could feel each piece. They could feel the side step, they could feel the rotation, she could feel the forward step, I could rotate her, I could rotate her again, and now we're back Ojo's, right? Or rotate front of toes. Yeah? So we had each of those pieces. Okay. We did a bonus from the cruzada, the cross. So we're here. We get into the cross. And then I can ask her to rotate and then get into forward ochos or front ochos from there. And then exit out of it. Okay? Uh, then we did molinetas or hudos or turns, whatever you want to call them. But specifically, we went sidestep, and then we invited the follow to go around. So she's going forward, side, back, side, and then we exited on the front, cross, exit. So leaders, specifically, we weren't asking you to lead her front and, and um, back steps. Instead, we're thinking about inviting her into the space. Follows are taking a nice tight circle around the leader, and then we're exiting out together. I think that was it.